Hi, I'm Vita Clocky with VitasCollectibles.com and I'm here today to talk about pen medium and using it on porcelain. Um, I'll show you today how to grind and mix your pen medium so that will flow through your pen point and hopefully give you some pointers that may help you with your pen work. When I mix my pen work, I usually take dry china paint and mix it to china painting consistency with my open medium, which would be, in my case, mineral oil, just as if I'm going to paint with it. So I will grind it to about toothpaste consistency with mineral oil. And get all those particles out of there. Now this looks about like what I would china paint with. At this point then I would add the pen medium. And I use um, Easy Flow pen mediums. Uh, people use all different kinds if you're in a pinch. You can actually use sewing machine oil. That works quite well also. So you just kind of have to find what works for you. The question on the consistency, which I may have gotten a little bit too much here, we'll find out shortly. I'm going to mix that in and I look for a slow drip off of my palette knife. A fast drip is too thick, or excuse me, a fast, fast drip is too thin. too slow of a drip, it's too thick, so we'll know here in a minute. And it looks like it may be just a little bit too thin. And if it's too thin, it will run on your porcelain when you fire it, especially if you have stilted your piece. I think maybe I'm going to add a little bit more dry powder to that. And that's okay if you mix up too much. Um, because I always store my colors already pre-mixed in little containers, so this is looking better now. To get all those granules out of there because they'll clog your, pre your pen point. This is doing a slow drip off the point of the palette knife. That's what I would consider a good mixture. If it runs off, it's too thin. If it doesn't run off, it's too thick. So it's doing a slow drip. I'd say that's just about right. Now I like the Hunts 102 or 107 points. They seem to have a little bit more um, strength to them and they, they last a little bit longer. Um, I'm sure you'll find one that works best for you. When you scoop your china paint, your pen medium up, I scoop the paint and make sure your hole is not filled or it'll clog your point. It won't flow. Always test on your tile in case there's a big drip there. Looks good. I think the biggest mistake that we make as we are doing pen work is we're going too fast and we're not holding that pen at the correct angle. When you bring the point down to the porcelain, I've watched a lot of my students and they tend to turn their pen this way or that way. Well that point has to make a flat connection onto that porcelain and if it doesn't you're not going to get a nice even line. So I will do a little scoop and do a little test mark. 
This is a piece that um, we started in class. We were just playing with some Zentangle. And of course I used the wax-free transfer paper to apply my pattern. Because like I said, it does not clog the pen quite as easily as the uh, waxed transfer paper. So when this point comes down, it's slow and low, I say about 45 degree angle. If you try to rush that point, if you try to write with it like it's a writing pen, you're going to have skips and you're going to have problems. Because I'm holding this porcelain at an angle so that you can see what I'm doing, I've noticed I'm not holding my pen at the correct angle. It's not touching the porcelain the way it should. When it does, it flows so much easier. I start all my new students out with pen work because that way if I get them off on the right foot and they're doing their pen work they can do it at home and it feels like they've really accomplished something when they bring it back then we um, talk about putting colors on and doing the china painting but this is something that a beginner can use at home and uh, can bring it back then and have it fired. And they're usually pretty excited about that. Now if I feel my pen is dragging slightly, I will gently wipe it because there could be a little bit of buildup in there from the transfer paper. But you can see going slow and holding it at about a 45 degree angle and having the correct load on your point and not too much paint that it's plugging the hole. All these little things um, will make your pen work so much more enjoyable. You can see I'm pulling those colors, this color, towards me and trying to keep that at a 45 degree angle. Um, one important thing to besides consistency of your paint is guarding that pen point because these there's two little points on that end of that pen point and if it isn't stored correctly or if it's bumped or dropped those little points they're no longer side by side one will split just a tiny bit and this is what you'll have and your point will not flow the china paint. So I save all the old mascara tips, eyeliner tips, whatever kind of covers I can find and I use them to just as a guard for my pen point when I'm storing it because um, it's uh, going to probably get bumped in the in the box or whatever container I'm storing it in. But you, know, you want to check your points, like I said, because if those points are off, that little line between the two points is not going to flow that pen work for you. So check your points, and if they do wear down, they just need to be replaced. They wear down like everything else. So a good point uh, for fine work is always um, always a really good thing. So take care of your points with the pen point cover and store all your leftover pen medium and pen paint in a little container and it will all be ready for the next time that you're doing your pen work. I hope you enjoyed this video on pen work and it hopefully gave you some pointers that you can use. Thanks for watching. If you would like to subscribe, um, please hit the bell button on the video and you will be notified of my future videos.